Why is my Instagram dead? That is the number one question that I'm getting from small business owners and entrepreneurs right now. So if you've noticed a decline in your engagement or maybe your follower count, don't take it personally. It's definitely happening to everyone. It's just very competitive on Instagram right now. However, there are definitely specific steps that you can take in order to cut through the competition. So if you're looking to promote your business and make some money, today's video, I'm gonna walk you through each step so that you can get out there and start killing it on Instagram. But before we go any further, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Michelle and I am a creative strategist. And if you're just stumbling upon this channel, welcome to Learn With Shopify. Learn With Shopify is the channel to get all the knowledge that you need if you are an online entrepreneur and you're starting, running, or growing an online business. Just recently, we dropped a video on how to do TikTok marketing. So if that kind of content would be useful to you, make sure that you are hitting subscribe. So I work with countless small business owners and I started noticing a trend. I started noticing that they were saying they were lacking engagement or that they were having a hard time making sales on Instagram. So I went back, did some research, and I found out exactly why this is happening to everyone and how you can beat the algorithm. Okay, so first let me explain why you're actually having a hard time growing and making sales on Instagram. Every social media platform is gonna go through a life cycle, just like everything in life. So it's gonna start with launch, then it's gonna move on to growth, and then monetization at its peak. Now, the first phase is the launch phase. So at this point, Instagram was figuring out what their value proposition was. They were doing all that behind the scenes work um, and they were just getting started. If you were a business or if you were a creator on Instagram at this time, this would have been a very easy time to grow. Now, realistically, you probably weren't because you probably didn't even know Instagram existed. The next phase is the growth phase. This is where Instagram would have started to pick up some steam. So when you hear people saying, oh, Instagram really isn't what it used to be, they're talking about that time when it was you know, wild. There was a lot of engagement. You could have gained followers super quickly um, and that all happened during the growth phase. So this would have been about five years ago. Um, and at that point, it was just really easy to grow your account. There was a lot of engagement. Um, and if you were on it enough to monetize back then, you would have seen a lot of sales coming through. But if I think back to where I was at in 2016, I was probably somewhere on my couch in my living room hearing all my friends talking about Instagram, but not on the platform yet. But those days have come and gone, my friends, because Instagram is now at the monetization phase. They're really focusing on profit. So what they're doing is they are working with advertisers to sell users attention. So that really just allows them, you know, to pay their employees and run their business. Instagram is no longer handing out exposure like it's Halloween candy and they are the biggest house on the block, but instead they're keeping their exposure precious. They are only electing a small portion of the population to be the chosen ones. Um, those people are getting all the growth, they're getting all the exposure. Now, I know this sounds elusive, um, but you can be a chosen one. So here are the four things that you can do to make it to the other side, become a chosen one so that you can start growing your business and start making sales. Tip number one is make content that no one has ever seen before. All right, so now that we know that Instagram is in the profit or the monetization phase, we can gather that they're gonna be willing to help you if they can make a profit off of you. So in other words, they're gonna reward you with exposure if you keep users on the platform for longer. This is because that's gonna mean they can show more ads to your audience and collect money from companies that are willing to pay for those ads. So if you make content that no one has ever seen before, you're gonna help Instagram reach their goal and then they're gonna help you reach your goal. So let's use this fake hot sauce brand just as an example of what not to do, okay? So rule number one in making scroll stopping content is do not post bland product photos. Product photos with a white backdrop is amazing, but those should be reserved for the product page on your online store or your Shopify store. You're gonna have a very hard time standing out by posting product photos like this on your Instagram. But in sharp contrast, take a look at how you can still show your products, but in a creative and a different and fun way. So look at this guy, he's making hot sauce Fountain, I think that is genius. And this is really gonna make people stop and watch. So those people that are stopping and watching, they can potentially turn into followers, and then one day down the line, they can turn into customers as well. 
Also, don't try to be perfect. I know this one's a bit of a hard one, um, but perfection is 100% expected on Instagram. So to be different and to make content that people have never seen before, try adding a human element. So while this picture over here is, you know, it's obviously stunning, this photo lacks a human element. You know, it's perfectly lit. It looks like maybe it was taken at a studio. So instead, embrace the human element with your photos and with your videos. So when we look at this video here in contrast, we can see that, you know, maybe it was taken with a smartphone. Um, you can see people's natural reactions to how spicy the hot sauces are. And there's a storyline behind it. So it has a human element. So keep that in mind as you're creating your content. Ever wonder how you can make money on Instagram, like the many influencers and brands that you see when you open up the app? Register using the link below to gain access to a free webinar that's gonna walk you through proven methods for growing an Instagram following from scratch and the variety of ways that you can start monetizing with as little as a thousand followers. So in just 45 minutes, you're gonna learn strategies to get more engaged followers and you're gonna learn how to use Instagram to drive traffic and sales to your store. So the next tip is to be consistent. Now, I know you guys have definitely heard this advice before, but it's super important because being consistent tells Instagram that you are a trustworthy account and that you are a reliable account. So if you're the type of person that has, you know, a hard time staying motivated and a hard time being consistent, I know it happens to all of us. Um, here are a couple of really helpful tips for you guys. So number one, use a scheduling tool. So you could use a free tool like Later, um, and Later is gonna allow you to schedule content so that it automatically posts later. <laughs> that way um, you're not posting a ton when you're super motivated and then completely falling off the map when you start to get busy. So something like Hootsuite, something like Later, those are really gonna help you stay on the ball and on track. Secondly, set a dedicated time to plan and shoot your content. So if you decide on every Sunday at six, for example, I recommend that you put a recurring event in your calendar and turn that alarm on, baby, because once you hear that alarm, you're gonna drop everything that you're doing and you're gonna start creating. So the close sister of consistency is actually patience. So my last piece of advice for you is just be more patient with yourself. Um, if you're trying to be consistent, you're gonna also have to be patient with yourself. Growth right now on Instagram is not gonna happen overnight, I, you know, like we discussed that, but if there are 365 days in a year and you promise yourself that you're gonna post once a day, that is 365 opportunities that you're giving yourself to blow up. Every piece of content can be that shot. So really trust the process, you know, trust the universe, enjoy, have fun. Um, and if you are consistent and if you are patient and you are dedicated about growing your business, then success will just naturally come. Rule number three is don't be boring. <laughs> Crazy advice, but what I'm trying to say is have whatever is going on in your content, be super active and be super dynamic. So if we look at this picture right here, you know, there's really not much going on. There's just, you know, we're just looking at some ingredients. But if we look at this video here, this is dynamic. This person is showing us the ingredients still, but he's showing us how the hot sauce is made. Now, obviously don't give away your secret sauce, <laughs> but maybe showing some crazy or unexpected ingredients, for example, maybe that can catch people's attention. So hopefully now you get a better sense of how to make content that no one has ever seen before. Now, if you're stuck for ideas, it happens to all of us. Honestly, I would just recommend you hop over to TikTok, see what people are doing on that platform because it's super creative over there, and then just bring that content over to Instagram, but make sure that you're putting your own spin on it. Next tip, think like Instagram. So we've definitely done a lot of, you know, this kind of thinking like Instagram, even just throughout this video. But in order for you to succeed on Instagram, you want to think like Instagram. What's on their agenda and how can you use that knowledge to further your business? So them dropping the Reels feature, that is a perfect example of how you might have, you know, taken that opportunity uh, to think like them and propel your business forward. Obviously, from a business standpoint, um, they were competing with TikTok. So we can wager a guess that they would reward early adopters with more exposure if you were to use Reels early on. So, you know, just getting your brain into that mindset of, you know, thinking like Instagram, that can really help you and propel your business forward. 
Next tip is stop making selfish content. So I actually heard Gary Vee say this first, but when I heard it, I was like, this is so accurate <laughs> and I wanted to share it with you guys. So selfish content is anything that you post for you know, your own agenda or your own ego or your own business. And I think that it's really easy to fall into this trap of making content that fulfills your own needs. I mean, I know I've done it before. I think we've all done it before, but what we wanna focus on is providing some sort of value. So those examples that I showed you before, they were selfless. They were funny, they were interesting. You know, they really took the viewer into account first. And you just, you know, you wanna notice that none of them said like big blowout sale or like new product drop. You know, you wanna assume that people don't care about your products, but what they do care about is consuming content that's good. So after you command a viewer's attention, that's when you can start thinking about monetizing that attention later. And honestly, this is a little meta considering that's exactly how Instagram did it with their platform. You know, first they got the user's attention and then they monetized it. <laughs> and I think that's, you know, full circle and this is a perfect place to end off for today's video. But before we wrap up for the day, if you're looking to grow your business with Instagram, then Shopify is gonna have everything that you need. It allows you to sync your product catalog to an Instagram shop so that you can easily create ads and shoppable posts. Transform posts and stories into shopping experiences with product tags. Offer a smooth shopping experience by bringing the look and feel of your Shopify store to Facebook shops. Expand your audience through Facebook ads. And use Shopify to create, track, and manage your ad campaigns and orders all in one place. You can get started with a free 14-day trial, no credit card required, and building an online store is a lot of fun and it is super easy. Plus, the powerful features and the free apps are gonna make marketing really simple and it's gonna allow you to make more sales more often. So I will leave a link for you guys in the description box if you're looking to get started on your business journey. If you thought this video was helpful, make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up because that really helps me understand what you wanna watch. And of course, it helps this video, it helps our channel grow. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button, especially if you're an online entrepreneur, maybe you're aspiring to be an online entrepreneur, maybe you're already in that growth phase, but here is the channel for you to learn all that knowledge in order to be successful as an online entrepreneur. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.